Hello all, this is Zach here and today this video here I'd like to share with you one of the famous and popular topic uh, which is you know related to the growth counters. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick analysis okay based on what's spread analysis. Again we know that uh, recently there is some sort of like a movement, okay, a small movement on all these glove counters here. So uh you know definitely it's the uh, increase the number of cases okay of COVID-19 in Malaysia too. Okay, so uh, we're gonna look into um, several things, okay, especially based on one span analysis to check is there any you know potential reversal uh, or any trade setup that we can look for. So again, uh, so this video here is just for pure educational purposes. Okay, I'm not asking you to buy or sell. So if you want to enter exit, please do your own uh, due diligence and uh, you know your research and study. Okay, so the things that over here is just purely based on my opinions and analysis. Okay, so now let's go to the four major uh, Thai call. Okay, so the four major Thai call. Uh, I'm going to look into Supermax. Okay, so later on, uh, probably talk glove. Okay, because I think their style is really similar. Um, which is not currently I don't see any potential high volume reversal. So, okay, so again. Uh, if you know about VSA market stages and if you follow us regularly on how live Facebook, we always emphasize on the volume first okay, before uh, we want to see some changes in the trend. So example here, okay, we got a first volume after you know this this uh, very low base accumulation now it turns to another period of reaccumulations, high volumes appearing, uptrend, okay, and at the top high volume probably is 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 the area of you want to do some distributions again, okay? So around this area, uh, back to I think around April the time, I thought yeah they got a chance to at least move to sideways accumulation, but it does it didn't happen, okay? And it break lower, okay? So currently we still haven't seen the the main volume yet, okay? To you know tell us that the daily chart, uh, they got a, they got a potential to change the overall trend yet. Okay, so if you look into Toglev, just going to look into uh, this view because Toglev anyway is, is the main one. So Toglev still haven't really sh uh, showed the volumes yet. So against the daily, it seems like it's still not so convincing yet. Okay, they will um, make the change in the trend. Okay, so, but it's okay, you know, you, you no need to, if, let's say, for example, you are short-term traders, okay, you need to focus on the, on the daily or loans. Okay, so probably you want to check out on the hourly. Okay, so which means that um, because I think that on the daily basis, okay, probably we still got some chances. Okay, if you are from our masterclass students, uh, maybe there's a potential of a uh, whiteboard that you might want to want, want to you know try to get a few of them. Okay, so uh, if you look into closely on this hourly chart, okay, this is again a heavily downtrending counters. Okay, so we use twenty forty to help us out and. If you realize over here too, there's lots of inverse pullback. Okay, so what it means by inverse pullback? So lots of weaknesses just hitting on trend 40s, uh, but it doesn't stay above, price still keep going down. Okay, so just the opposite of how the, the pullback works normally. So, okay, but here is slightly different, okay? It, it actually crossed trend 40s. Okay, volume increasing, but it's not that high. Okay, so that's why I, I still think that best we aim for what more first, okay? So make a pullback, okay, low volumes, NS, okay, if you realize here, you got one NS, spring, two spring over here. So this is the area that they are building up nicely, okay. And uh, two more line change, okay, if you realize also, uh, we do talk about, you know, the basic pullback patterns with members the other day. So probably this LC here, we have another round of the basic pullback. So here we got one already, which is yesterday. Okay, hopefully here we might want to see something uh, very, very similar. Okay, so again, a good counters for me at the moment because the volume, um, you know, haven't really turns up yet in the in the daily chart. So I will still focus in hourly, which I think that uh, hourly currently probably will give a, a chance for us to trade some white ball. Okay, so let's go to three more. Okay, which is, I think uh, they got a better opportunity okay compared to the four type core hopefully okay so this is uh k plus because if i look into the overtrend over here it doesn't have a bad 
uh, downtrend compared to the four uh, Tyco. Okay, and the best thing about K plus and the two counters that I share later on is that uh, we will. If you realize, okay, these high volume areas, okay, actually they are still supported well, okay. And if you look into Supermax talk left earlier on, um, the high volume area actually is currently is you know the current price okay is actually is below the high volume area okay so most of the time high volume area must react okay high volume areas must react like for example uh, example like this case over here okay so the high volume area must react okay so that you know it shows uh that there's genuine uh accumulation maybe or maybe they want to support in this particular level okay so over here again, uh, the daily haven't really crossed yet, but again, the hourly tells different things. Okay, so it's a good sign or maybe a, a good chance for us to look for some white ball shoots. Okay, so volume on the up bar is pretty good. Okay, just here, uh, we've got some top bar high volume, so that's why I'm a bit worried too. Okay, but today morning, okay, around 9 to 10, this is the first candle today. Okay, actually, it really crossed. Okay, so... Uh, for me, it looks healthy. Okay, it actually break the resistance. Okay, we got a, a, a three bar pullback here. Of course, volume on the downward is pretty high. Okay, so let's see whether what formation that we can get. Okay, from this uh, current line change. Okay, so our charts, they cross 40s. Okay, make a small like a uh, accumulation there already. Okay, so let's go for HLT. Okay, and I counters that um, again, volume is not there yet, okay, daily chart, okay, but we probably want to look into hourly, so because the daily uh, still not so, you know, uh, come with pretty good momentum, yet. okay, but again, one thing's pretty good uh, compared to uh, Supermax and the other uh, top level of this, okay, is that, you know, it's stay very close with the high volume areas, okay, somewhere around here. So I think the chart set is pretty same with K+, plus, okay, but of course, K+, plus come with um, nicer volume, okay, in my opinion, okay, so uh, again, resistance haven't really crossed yet, but the up bar volume is slowly uh, picking up already. Okay, so the next thing is that the down bars there must come with lower volumes. Okay, so let's go to the last one. This is Aventa. Okay, pretty much the same with K plus. Okay, actually both of them is the same. Okay, one goes up, the other one also goes up. One goes up, the other one goes down. Okay, so you might want to pick one of them. Okay, so uh, this is again easy. Um, high volumes. Okay, support well. Okay, so again, it's a good sign that we want to, we want to see in the charts there. Okay, but here still uh, doesn't show the high volume set. Huh? So, and beside this, up charts have a high volume too. Okay, so again, we want to look into the hourly chart first. Okay, before uh, further sound strength is coming back. Okay, in the daily chart. Okay, so so far, like I say, is everything is pretty similar with how uh, K plus move. Okay. Uh, we've got some uh, set weight, okay, accumulation above trend 40s, and then line change, 3 bar, line change here, so hopefully um, we might see a healthy, successful pullback patterns from them, okay? So again, this is just my uh, quick analysis, okay, based on VSA, so uh, again, just a quick summary. Uh, daily chart, no high volume yet, okay, for all the glove, so best is still use the hour chart to determine your your stop loss and your potential uh tp and setups okay so again this is just pure based on my uh view okay based on vsa here so please do your own uh research study before you want to enter a particular trick okay so with this thank you and if you find this video here uh is interesting and you know you learn something from our video from time to time make sure you click the like buttons and help me to subscribe to this channel okay so thank you and i'll see you in the next video